This is Golf Talk Canada, presented by TaylorMade. This segment of Golf Talk Canada is brought to you by Caddy Time, the Uber-like app that allows golfers across Canada to add affordable, qualified caddies to any round. Visit caddytime.com, download the app, or speak with your PGA professional today. Welcome back inside Golf Talk Canada. Well, there's only a couple of weeks left in 20 weeks of TaylorMade, hard to believe. And earlier this week, TaylorMade released its newest wedge, the High Toe 3. For much more, I had a chance to catch up with Bill Price and learn all about this newest wedge. Pleased to be joined by good friend of the show, Bill Price from TaylorMade to discuss the TaylorMade High Toe 3 wedges. So much technology in this newest edition of High Toe. But first, for someone who isn't aware of what High Toe is all about, give us a summary of how it first came to be in 2018. Yeah, great question there, Adam. We uh, A few years back, we started uh, meeting with all the players, and one of the things we were on a search for was... Uh, around the greens. Um, is there a wedge that can hit all the shots? And what's your worst shot that you have or your nightmare? And what is it that uh, we could do a better job at? And there were so many uh, questions about this type of shot or this type of condition or this type of bunker or grass, uh, soft, firm. And it was, at the end of the day, it was, you know, the, their difficulty with and and there was one in particular that I was talking about was you know when the balls especially in Kukuya when it's sitting up high and you have that wedge shot there and you're hitting it inconsistent and a lot of it was they were hitting it more on the toe shot side of, of things so it was all around that and we talked about what type of sole designs that they were, were going to be needed to help hit all these different shots and at the end of the day it was more of a full camber first off they talked about camber both from heel to toe uh, front to back, so a lot of camber. Um, they all talked about being able to slide this club under the ball. Uh, we talked about a low leading edge to, to to handle all the different shot characteristics. And so combination of low leading edge, lots of camber, and a somewhat, they didn't ask for this, but more of a wider sole. So that was that's really the secret behind what, what high toe has been. Now, that's the soul. But then at the end of the day, they were all about the higher toe. So we talked about, well, how high should that toe be or how tall should that toe be? And so uh, we looked at different versions. So if you look at a wedge today, a typical wedge is, let's call it about 62 millimeters. We looked at about 66, 68, 70. We looked at a lot of different sizes and we landed on this where we are today. So that was really important. Um, to have a little bit higher toe because they like to open that face up, especially what I talked about having that ball where it sits up sometimes in the high grass. So that was uh, uh, part of the design of the high toe. And then we called it high toe. And then the last piece of the puzzle, you know, uh, what I challenged the guys is should it have full length scoring lines all the way across the face? And that was an atom automatic. Yes. It needs to have the full length scoring lines because like we talked about, there is a tendency to hit it towards the high on the toe. So they wanted to make sure that they had scoring lines out there. So it was really designed with all the players, uh, uh, development from all the different players and input from all the uh, different things that they were trying to do to, to help their game. So lots of information there, but now on to high toe three. Tell us about some of the new features with this new great wedge. So one of the things, Adam, we kept all the good stuff that we've done for the last couple of years the same. So we didn't touch the sole. So same sole designs. What we did do, though, is add a few more bounce options uh, to, the, to the design of high toe three. Um, so we added some more bounce options that the players have, re have asked for. So we have a low bounce and a high bounce, a seven, a 10, and a 13 bounce. So we added that. But keep it everything else the same, the same high toe, the same full length scoring lines. Um, the same sole treatment of the wide sole, a lot of camber. And we just did a couple little tweaks here and there, especially with the 54, we added full length scoring lines across the face. We didn't have it before, uh, but the big also change is the, uh, is the weight pad that's just fine on the toe on the backside. So that really is trying to get that, that launch down, but the player's always looking for. So a lower launch with a little bit more spin. You mentioned the 54 and expanding the full length scoring lines now extending to wedges 54 degrees and higher. What were some of the reasons behind that? So there seems to be a movement uh, lately in the last few years. We have always had traditional wedges, you know, 52, 56, 60. It seems it's shifting downward a little bit to 
to I call the more modern uh, uh, purchase, which is a 50, 54, 58. We're seeing a lot more players in there. And it really, for consumers, uh, it really, it's a great idea because their sets and their set wedges are very strong today. So you really got to pay attention to the gapping. So it does make sense. So the new modern approach is 50, 54, 58. Now we did have full length score lines in 56 because the players said that they do have a tendency to open up their 56. So they'd like to see full length score lines, but in their old designs, we used to keep kind of a standard score line in 54, but with this movement happening, it was important to, you know, the players said, let's, let's get full length score lines in 54. And there's also a higher center of gravity in the new high toe three, correct? So what are some of the benefits of this? So one of the things that you, it depends upon who you talk to, but you look at the launch characteristics of, of what tour does versus say the average golfer. And, you know, you'll look at, you know, a, a number, there's some can be 20 degrees of difference in launch between say an average, average player versus a tour player on a 60 degree wedge. And a lot of it is where, how they deliver that, um, that, that angle of attack, but you know, they are, they are all looking for a lower launch with high spin. That's the combination. So low launch, high, high spin so that they can hit those shots in there, especially what they're playing is these very tight, uh, tucked pins. So being able to lower that launch is something that we're trying to achieve. And we were able to do that with that weight pad that's on the high toe three. And now all of these changes for high toe three are all aimed for increasing versatility for all kinds of shots in all kinds of conditions, correct? Across the board. Yeah. And, you know, so I always get the question, you know, what's the perfect wedge setup uh, from TaylorMade? I would say, you know, um, it depends upon who you are, uh, but you can have definitely you can have MG in the low lofts, uh, but a high toe, I think, is the most versatile wedge across the board for all golfers. Um, now, the one addition that we're doing is we always had this copper finish that we call it an aged copper. Uh, that's always been the uh, um, part of the, the legacy of what high toe has always been, but we are adding for the first time a chrome version uh, that will be out in the spring. So a chrome version, because there's been a lot of requests that they uh, consumers as well as tour players like to have the same finish in their low lofts as their high lofts. So, uh, so we are going to offer that in the spring. You mentioned a bunch of finishes too, and there are some customizable options coming up here as well with the My High Toe 3 as well. Is that correct? True, true. We can we can do raw, we can do black, we can do, uh, of course, chrome. Uh, the more successful one is always chrome and raw. Raw is very popular. We we do offer a full raw uh, on, on the My program, so the, the whole head is raw. And and our, our story at retail though with with high toe and uh, is just we raw the face, so we remove all of the excess material on there. We want that to rust. We want that to add a little bit more friction. That's the spin that we talk about because I think it rains up in Canada. So uh, <laughs> I know my son has been up there playing on the uh, Canadian tour, and all he talked about was how much rain it does up here in Canada. So part of the thing that uh, that you'll see in his set is he's a big believer now with all that rain about how the spin can change um, in wet conditions versus dry conditions. And why you want to have raw face is because it's going to, you know, if you don't have raw, you're going to lose about 50% of that spin. And no player wants to have that type of reduction in spin. Um, but, you know, it just doesn't have to rain to have that. It all it takes is just a little bit of dew in the morning and you get a little bit of that, that, that dew on your golf ball. And that ball slides up the face, your launch goes up anywhere between four to five, six degrees, and your spin is cut in half. So raw will eliminate uh, about 20 to 25% of that. So now instead of losing 50, you might be losing, you know, 25% of that spin, but, um, and your launch isn't reduced, is, is not cut in half like it is today. So yeah, you got to be careful about what water can do or what type of mist can do to a golf ball or to the face. And what that does to your spin and launch numbers. Well, so much technology jam packed into this brand new wedge, the High Toe 3 from TaylorMade. Bill, thanks for your time today. Thanks, Adam. Can't wait to get that new High Toe 3 wedge in the bag. On the other side, we'll tell you how you can win not one, but two of the new TaylorMade High Toe 3 wedges. This is Golf Talk Canada.